So the other day I came on the Game Pass to play some games and I had a pop-up that said Windows Gaming Services needs to be downloaded and installed or updated. And then I hit download and it said down here installing Windows Game Services, but it continued to do that in perpetuity. It did not stop, it did not successfully install. So I found a fix for this. So I'm making this video for anyone who's run into that issue. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The first step you wanna take is launching PowerShell in an administrative mode. So come down to the search bar here and type PowerShell or just PO and it should come up. But if not, you can type the entire thing. Go ahead and right click and hit run as administrator. Hit yes. And if you have your system set up to prompt you for a password, go ahead and input that password. So here in the PowerShell administrator window, we're gonna type get dash app x package Microsoft dot gaming services. This is saying go get this application and then we're going to use a pipe and that's just shift backslash if you're not familiar with what pipe is. And this is going to say after the pipe remove dash app x package and that's going to say when you get this package remove that package and then we're also going to add dash all users and that's going to tell the system to remove that package microsoft.gaming services for all users go ahead and hit enter once you get the prompt back it's successfully done that as you can see it removed the gaming services task from the task manager here. So that means you've successfully uninstalled the Microsoft.gaming services. And now you can input the command start space ms dash windows dash store colon slash slash pdp slash exclamation point product id equals nine M W P M two C Q N L H N and hit enter. This will take you to the Windows storefront where you can re-download the Windows gaming services. So hit install when this page loads. Hit yes and then allow the system to download and install Windows Gaming Services. So it's accomplished that. You can close this out, and then you can close this out. Relaunch your Xbox Game Pass application, and your games should now be working correctly. And that's all there is to it. That's how I solved that issue with my Game Pass. I wanted to play some games, ran into that issue, had to do some troubleshooting, and that seemed to work for me. Hopefully this will work for you. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next video.